<laughs> hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Hayden, Idaho. What am I doing here? I need a place to stay. In the fairgrounds, that was my best answer. You know, I've been traveling on the road for several hours and all the campgrounds were full. I couldn't find any boondocking spots. Walmart was all posted. And I went to a campground in here in town. I'm like, do you have anything? She says, we don't have a thing. She says, but you might try the fairgrounds right next door. I said, fairgrounds? She says, yeah, they're having a rodeo there this weekend. You might just go over there and blend in. Well, I came over here and I parked over there first. And I went and asked the officials. I told them, I said, I need a place to stay. They said, well, just park right over there and make yourself at home. If anybody says anything, tell them you're here to see the junior barrel racing. I said, you got it. So you never know how things are going to work out. What is that dog? What is that? Man, those dogs are huge. It's the biggest dogs I've ever seen. Daddy. Those, those aren't dogs. Those are... <whistles> Baby May Mays knows what they are. Look at all the trash on my dash. <laughs> Man, I'll bite them. Don't you bite any horses, Tucker. <whistles> That's a mule. I think. Hush. Hush. <clears throat> Ooh, that's pretty. A lot more horse trailers over there when we got here. When we were here, we got here about three hours ago. There was only two trucks over there. Tucker, did you just burp on camera? Excuse me. Tucker, when you burp, you're supposed to cover your mouth and say excuse me. Oh no, I forgot. Okay. I'll tell you a story about me and a horse and a pony. When I was little, my dad had a pony. He used to bite me all the time. I deserved it. It was a mean little thing. But he also had a, one of his prized possessions was a black mare and her name was Black Beauty. And um, we had a working farm, almost 100 acres. We had poultry houses, cattle, the horses, gardens. Well, my cousin lived right down two houses from me on the same property. And uh, anyway, Black Beauty got out of the gate and they got hit by a car. Messed up this man's car and messed up this guy real bad. I remember the man being all bloody and everything coming to the house. But long story short, I got blamed for leaving the gate open. But it wasn't me, it was my cousin. My dad loved that horse. I don't think he ever forgave me for that. I think he still think I still think at his death he thought I was the one who left his horse out. It wasn't me. And who knew I'd be over here where everybody's practicing? 
My cousin, he transported show horses all over the United States. Uh, 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 don't you get out, Tuck. And I helped him with a couple runs up to New York and around. He, he, he hauled exotic show horses and everything. Yeah. I got a front row seat. When things aren't going your way, you just got to keep, keep trying and, and push them forward. As she's texting and horse riding. Never saw that before. Keep an open mind, try not to get too nervous or aggravated. I'll admit, I was getting, you know, sometimes you feel a little desperate in your stomach, like, where am I going to sleep? But I'm like, you know what? I've always found a place to park. It always works out. It'll continue to work out. And boy, did it work out for the better. <laughs> Doing a little cooking for supper tonight in the RV while I'm here at the fairgrounds. May not be what you want. You all don't agree with my cooking. This is what I'm having. I started out, you know the, the fried chicken that you get at the grocery stores? It's already cooked. It's usually like four or five dollars. Well I get it cold and what I do, I t I, it's already cooked so I just take it off the bone and tonight I'm mixing it in with my Knorr pesticides, butter and herb. So you boil your water and your butter. Some people add milk, some don't. Yeah, I'm stirring with my knife. Put the chicken in, put the pasta in. You cook it for seven minutes. And then after that, I'll put some cheese on it. That'll make a meal. My last video, I noticed when I was cooking, had a lot of stuff on top of my lid and and on my um, top of my stove down here under the grate. I had a a bread that was had got real crusty, and I actually broke it, and it got over the top of my. I, I keep a clean kitchen, but anyway, people are gonna find something to talk about and complain about. So then this is what I'm having for supper. People ask me, they say, Kevin, why do you use paper plates and plastic spoons and forks? Well, you know, it's like this. They sell them because some people buy them. And I'd rather do that than wash dishes or waste water. I've had a thing lately for thick sliced cheese, farm style. I don't know. Tastes better. Probably in my head. And that's enough for two helpings. I'll give the baby some of it. Add a little pepper. No need to add any salt. I'm sure that's got plenty of sodium in it. Now, I try not to eat prepackaged foods too much, but every now and then I've been enjoying seltzer water a lot lately as well. That's about right. <laughs> so, there's my supper. Notice I said my supper, Tuck. Not your supper. Oh, come on. No, my supper. Never once in my life did I think I would be filming myself eating. <laughs> Putting it on the internet. Yet here I am. <laughs> Life's funny. All right. Yeah, I just hit the table. Mm. You didn't see it. Tucker, we're getting flies in here. Not my problem. I say it is your problem. Look at there. We got a screen open somewhere 
Or when you're when you're going out, you're not shutting the door good. You're gonna have to get on it, Tuck. Good one landed right on your face. That's what you get. I think it's your fault. I'm watching the horses. And those two little girls. And it wouldn't kill you to push your broom. Hey, Dad? Yeah, Tuck. I think I need to get a lawyer. A lawyer? What do you need a lawyer for? Well, I've been thinking. You wouldn't have a, a good YouTube channel if it wasn't for me. I think I still have a YouTube channel. I think you still have a good one too, Daddy. I wanna... I wanna cut. How about a cut upside the head? All I'm saying is that we just need a contract. That's all. You know, just, just keep things straight. So we don't have no problems. I'll tell you what, Tucker. I got it handled. If you want to go start your own show, you go right ahead. You think this is so easy? Well, I found where the flies were getting in. This was open all the way. Didn't, didn't notice it. Well, I got them in here too. It's funny how you can do everything right. Nothing happens. Mess up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Everything goes sideways. Is that the way it works? It is. I am enjoying this cross breeze. I mean, it's hot outside. But with a fantastic fan and everything going, I'm comfortable. So baby May May and I, we decided to go over to the event and see all the... Dad, I know what a horse is. Okay. Pretty close to the event. Might as well go over and see what it's all about. See that horsey? Huh? See that horsey? How pretty. Oh, they Got the cows over here. I guess they're going to do some roping. No. Them cows. Them cows. Starting them early. Hang on, darling. Yeah. How pretty. Yeah, hold on to your horses. Looks like we got another one going to go, baby May Mays. There she comes. Now 
Dallas County. Here comes a rider. Hope you enjoyed the video here. I made it to the fairgrounds, the horses, and a good place to camp. But I'm in a little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care.